real quick, real quick. This is Mike. This is Mike with Dorothy's and Mike's Delight. I'd like to say thank you and stay tuned. And stay tuned. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Mike with Dorothy's and Mike's Delight. We'd like to thank you for staying tuned. And today, we're going to walk you through a zucchini and squash casserole. Enjoy. So this morning, we're going to do a zucchini squash casserole. So what I do, I cut my, my squash and zucchini and onion up and boil them. Then I take and I mash them up. And after I mash them up and everything, then I add a cup of cream of chicken soup. I add eight ounces. You don't have to add quite eight ounces of sour cream and the amount of margarine you think you need. It's good and healthy, staying in a lot, so it gives us something different to eat rather than eating something sweet all the time. Take it away, Mom. Okay, now I'm gonna slice my zucchini and squash, and also the onion. And then I'll put it on the stove and let it cook. But you want to cook them real good because you can, uh, so you can mash them up. Is there any particular way you need to cut it? Well, I always cut mine round. Make the slices not too thick and not too thin. Now here at Dorothy's and Mike's Delight, we're going to cook a variety of dishes. You guys been watching, you know that we are doing our sweets right now, but we're gonna flip the script a little bit and uh, let you see some of the healthy dishes that we have. And my mother's here, she basically cooks healthy. Everything we do has a health element to it. Not too much, not too little. Hey guys, what we're bringing to this channel is cooking, a healthy lifestyle, and family. That's what we're gonna focus on. Our recipes comes from my mother, years and years of information on cooking. water over the squash and then I'm gonna put it on the stove and bake it for about 15 or 20 minutes okay all right it looks like it is getting there we all know that this is good healthy food I didn't like it back in the day, to be honest. <laughs> but with time, you know, brings change. And now I'm all in it. Okay, so right now we're about to take a few minutes and we're about to get this next step started. Okay, now I'm checking my zucchini and squash. They're not quite done. They're almost there, so I'm gonna let them cook a few more minutes and then I'm gonna take them out. See, because when you cut it, try to cut it, it doesn't cut well. So I'm gonna let them cook. Now we, they have boiled and they are soft, so we're mashing them up. And then I'm gonna drain the water off and I'll start putting the ingredients. Okay, now I'm opening my chicken, prima chicken soup. It calls for a can, but I don't usually use a can because as you know, soups and things have a lot of sodium. And I don't use salt. I do put some black pepper in it. It costs for salt. But I just use a cream of chicken soup. And that has a lot of salt in it, sodium. Margarine. It calls for eight ounces of uh, sour cream, but I'm gonna use about three big spoons for that. Probably will be eight ounces. And sour cream is really what gives it a, a better taste. Okay, so 
that, I'm putting the sour cream in there. That looks good. So I think that is enough. So now I'm going to stir it real good. Squash has a lot of, a lot of liquids, a lot of water comes from when you get your squash. Nice and creamy. Okay, now I'm going to put some black pepper in it. It, costs, it says a dash of salt and a dash of black pepper, but I'm not doing any salt at all. I'm just going to do the black pepper. And I'm going to stir it up, continue to stir it real good. Pepper, farm, corn, bread, classic mix. This is what you usually make your, your stuffing with during the holidays if you're not a pro. farm over the top of my squash and zucchini casserole. Some people tell me that they thought they didn't like squash until they had this casserole. Probably let it stay for about 30 or 35 minutes until this, uh, the topping start browning. All right, we will be back. It looks so pretty. It's been in the oven for about 30 minutes, maybe. And guess what? You can even use it as a dip. My grandson, that's how he eat it as a dip. It's delicious any way you eat it. This is Mike with Dorothy's and Mike's Delight. We just finished a squash and zucchini casserole. Just do it real simple. You know, this is for everybody out there. If you want to glass it up, glass it up. But you can also do it like this. Thanks for watching. Squash casserole is all cooked and everything. So now I'm going to serve some to my friend. Let's 
That's all I'm going to give them now, but they probably will come back for more. <laughs>